Hello guys, today let's talk about actions in Laravel. So you may structure your code as actions and then launch them from wherever. And this is one of the possible design patterns. There are so many possible design patterns that I even tweeted recently that Laravel has so much flexibility and it's a blessing and a curse of the framework. And one of the ways that I've started seeing pretty recently to separate the things from your controllers is actions. And on the screen, you can see one example from Laravel Jetstream. So if you go to Jetstream repository on GitHub, you see app actions. Then inside of that, there are Fortify actions and there are Jetstream actions. Something like delete a team, create a team or something like that. So in this video, I will show you three examples from three different creators and three different repositories. And in this case, it's not me teaching you what actions are. It's a review that we do together, looking at how other people do that. Personally, I haven't implemented actions in my projects and generally not everything on this YouTube channel is implemented by me because I don't have so many projects to practice on. So let's look at actions together and what will be your opinion on whether it's worth using. Shoot in the comments below and let's discuss together. And Jetstream actually will be example number three, the most complex one. Let's start with the more simple one which is from Spati. Almost two years ago, back in 2019, Freck has released an article refactoring to actions, where he explains step by step what actions are and how to use them. And let's see how they use actions. Generally, action can be any method of the controller potentially, which you may call like this. So in addition to general CRUD actions, you have something like publish. But instead of having that inside of the controller, one of the steps to separate that from the post controller is to have a separate publish controller. And this thing is called invocable controller. So you may have controller with only one method invoke, which performs one specific action. And this is where the word action comes from. So step one towards separation is a separate controller, but we can take it even further and transform that into a separate PHP class, put that into a folder app actions, call it publish post action. And then inside of that class, you may specify the parameters and then you have method, for example, execute, which executes the action. So it's not even a Laravel class. It can be a PHP class where you can do whatever. And whenever you want to call that class, you can call that class, for example, from an artisan command by just type hinting it and calling execute you may call it from test and then check if the result is okay. You may call it from a controller, which can be invocable or other controller, just type hint, so dependency injection, and then execute that. And then the controller code would be shorter. After reading this article, I realized that actions are really similar to jobs. If we open up the Laravel documentation on queues and jobs, it's really similar to here. So in your controller, you do the main action and then you dispatch a job which separately takes care of some part of your application and makes the controller shorter. This separation of the code from the controller to somewhere may be done in so many different ways. So whatever you use, you use services, jobs or actions like in this video, everything is correct. So there's no one way. So actions are similar to jobs in a way, just instead of dispatching the job, you call something like execute. And the main benefit of that is that this action can be executed from wherever, can be reused, can be executed as I've shown from test, from controller, from artisan command, from wherever. So you don't need to repeat the same code in every controller or wherever. Also, Spati guys released a separate package to make those queuable, queuable action package. So you may take a look how to execute actions with queues with their vision of what the actions are. So this is example number one. Example number two is a separate package called Laravel Actions. So it was re-released with version two and described in Laravel News. And this is an example. You create a PHP class. Let's zoom it in a bit. You create a PHP class, use as action, and then you can call it something like this, like run action with the parameters you want. Or you may use the same action as a controller. And there are more features within this package that allow you to use actions with something like even validation rules. And if we go to that Laravel actions documentation, here are their examples. And I really love the packages that have sections, something like learn with examples, because syntax is pretty easy to learn. But when you need to use something, this is really important. So for example, generate reservation code, you can create a separate action. So PHP class, put it in app action, 
use the handle method to do whatever you want there and then call it from the controller something like generate reservation code run. Another example is demo team membership. So if you need to make some changes on the team, you may separate that as action of demo team membership, put the logic inside of the handle method. And then whenever you need that, you just do demo team membership run. And again, this package of Laravel actions allows the actions to be reusable and you can find examples of that in the documentation. So that's example number two. And now you see the pattern probably action is kind of a job which is separated from the controller and you may call it from the controller or from artisan command or from test or from whatever. In Spati case, the method is called execute. In this Laravel actions case, the method is called handle from what I remember. Yes, handle, but it's the same logic. And this is where we get to the third example of gesturing. This is where Taylor made it a bit more complex than just a job which could be called or executed. So if we take a look at the actual code, I've installed Jetstream locally. Let's get back to create new user. And if we search for the usages of that class in my PHP storm, we land on this Fortify service provider. Jetstream auth is powered by Laravel Fortify. And here you can replace the whole class. So action class create new user may be replaced with whatever class you may provide. So you may have totally different logic of create new user. You may create another class PHP class that should implement creates new user and creates new users is an interface. And in Fortify service provider, you may replace a lot of Fortify actions with your own action classes. So create users using, update using, update using, reset using, and all of those are action classes. Similar delete user and delete user is a jet stream thing, not Fortify. So if we look for find usages, we land on Jetstream service provider. So there is a separate Jetstream service provider, which has the same logic. You may replace that delete user class with whatever action class and implement that delete method however you want. The rule is that it should implement the interface of deletes users. In this case, actions seem to me more like repository pattern. So there's interface, there are some class that implements that interface, which could be replaced in service provider. Quite recently, I've shot a few videos on repositories, specifically repositories and services, and I will link them in the description below. So in Jetstream case, those actions are more like repositories to me, but they are just called actions. And this is the best proof that in Laravel, you have freedom to call things however you want. And actions, it's basically just a fancy word of any PHP class that could be executed from anywhere. So it's similar to a job, but you don't need to dispatch that as a job. It's similar to a service, but service is usually a class of methods and action is just one action. It's kind of like invocable controller with one action, but it's not a controller, but it can be used as a controller if you use Laravel actions package. And if you are still listening and if you still understand what I'm saying, then I give you a thumbs up because that's how complex it is to structure the code in Laravel. Maybe complex is the wrong word. That's how flexible it is to structure something in Laravel. And that was my main goal of shooting this video about actions to show you that actions, it's not about actions. It's about flexibility of Laravel code. But let's discuss in the comments. Do you use actions? Have you tried? Or if you haven't, would you use that? And generally, what do you think about that idea? If you want more discussions from me and discussions with you about Laravel design patterns and how to structure things in Laravel, subscribe to the channel. Support the channel financially by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen. One of the products is my Laravel courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. One of the courses is how to structure Laravel projects, where I discuss a lot of those things in details. So you may check that out and see you guys in other videos.